Rasul Sallallahu sat with his companions, the Hadith is in Bukhari and Muslim. And he said to them, Wallahi, I know the last man that will be saved from the fire and the last man to enter paradise. So tell us, Ya Rasulullah, tell us. He said, he will be taken out and walking across the Sirat. And he would have just made it past. And he is the only one left still looking at the fire. His deeds weren't enough to move him away and he's just trapped right there. Then Allah makes a tree grow at a distance and the man sees it. And he hadn't seen a tree in shade for such a long time. Then the man will not be able to be patient and Allah knows that the human cannot be patient with something like that. That's why he did it. So he says, my Lord put me under that tree so that I can be in its shade. I haven't seen shade in such a long time. Allah says, I will put you but on condition you don't ask me for anything after that. He says, I will not ask. you. He puts him under that tree. Then after a while, Allah makes another more magnificent tree grow at a distance from his sight. He says, my Lord, after a long time, and Allah knows no human can be patient with it. Just put me under that tree. And I promise you, I will not ask you for anything. Say to him, didn't you already promise? What kind of a human are you? He says, my Lord, I promise you this time, this will be it, this will be it, this will be it. So Allah then puts him there on condition he doesn't ask again. After that magnificent tree, Allah makes a third magnificent tree, even bigger and more beautiful and with a stream underneath it. After a long time, the man says, Ya Rab, I know I promised you. And Allah says, what this time? He says, just put me under that tree. I will never ask you for anything, my Lord. And Allah says, a debate starts to happen back and forth. And Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala knows, deliberate. So he puts him under that tree finally. While he puts him under that tree, he is close to the door of Jannah. Then he hears noises from behind that door, beautiful noises never heard before, sounds of happiness and joy, laughter. Then he says after a while, my Lord, just let me see what's inside behind that door. <laughs> and Allah knows that he cannot be patient. So then he says, I'll let you see, go. He goes to the seas and he comes back out and he is very sad, very tearful and very depressed. He says, what is wrong, my servant? And he says, my Lord, I realize that I'm the last person. And there's no space left for me in paradise. The guy was going to ask for something in paradise as well. So then Allah says, go in there. Would you like me to give you from it as much as the world? And then the man says, bi, ya Rabbi. What now you're mocking me, my Lord? Just teasing me now? The Prophet Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, as he was saying this hadith, he laughed. They said to him, why are you laughing, Ya Rasulullah? He says, inni adhaku li dahiki Rabbi. I am laughing to the laughter of my Lord. Before we imagine laughter of the Lord, we cannot imagine it, brothers and sisters. We just accept it as it is. And he says to him, Oh, no, my servant, but my kingdom never runs out. How about I give you as much as the world and like it again and again and again and again? Five times and the man says, Stop, stop. All right, I'm happy. I'm happy. I'm happy. In another hadith, it says, as a Muslim, and you will have 10 times as much as this, five times as much as the world. So five times 10 is 50 times as much as the world for the last man that enters paradise he enters it and he lives in his beautiful palace and everything and then they said ya rasulullah if that's the last man what will be for the people up in the highest places of paradise says ah Allah says that is beyond what anyone can even perceive 